What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to go over left rotation operation. So basically, um, a left rotation operation on an array of sides and shifts each of the array's elements one left, one unit to the left. So now given D, integer D, we're gonna just have to shift everything D times to the left and return the result. Okay, so um, this is actually not that hard. So what we could do is we could write a method that just um, shifts everything to the left by one, and then uh, we just loop through it, and then just keep shifting d times, okay? So uh, I actually wrote this already, so I'm just gonna explain the code, what I did. So here, this is basically what I'm doing to shift everything to the left. All right, so I created a variable called start that is going to equal to the first element. So here, let's say I wanted to shift everything here to the left, right? So we have one, two, three, four, five. So when we mean shift everything to the left by one, we mean that this one is gonna become a two, this two is gonna become a three, this three is gonna become a four, and this four is gonna become a five, right? And then the starting one is gonna now gonna go to the end, right? Because when we shift it to the left, there's nothing in the left anymore. So what's now it's gonna happen is go to the end. So what I did was I just started from the beginning I set a variable to equal to the start, right? The start is gonna to equal to the beginning of the first value, all right, at zero. And I just loop through from zero to the end. And then I'm just gonna set each element to equal to the next element. Oh, sorry. That was my timer. That was my laundry timer, sorry. Um, so I just set each element from the first one to equal to the next one. So r at i is gonna to equal to r at i plus one. So what this is gonna do, if we're looping from beginning, it's gonna set this one to become the two, this two is gonna become the three, this three is gonna become the four, this four is gonna become the five. And then this last value of five, I need to replace this, right, with the first value of one. So that's what I do here at the end. I said r at size minus one, which is the end, is gonna to equal to start. And then now what I'm doing this is I'm just gonna do this d times. So I'm gonna do a while loop and then do this d, d is greater than zero, d minus minus. So then I do this d times and then yeah, then that after that, I just return my array. And yeah, it basically passed the solution test cases. Um, so let's actually look at other people's solutions. I know that there is a way to do this with, um, yeah. There's a way to do this just by using modulus. Um, although they, I think they are creating a new array. Okay, that's just... <laughs> Yeah, so here what they're doing is they're creating a new array. And then what they're doing is they're gonna loop through from the beginning and they're just gonna like calculate the new index the way it's gonna be at. So what that means is um, they take the old inde index we're at and we're gonna subtract it from D. And then because it's just gonna be go negative, we need to loop around the array. So one way to actually loop around the array is just to add by end. And then once we add by end, um, sometimes you might go over the array. So what they do is they mod by n. So then it'll come back in a circle, right? So that's what th this new thing is. And then rotation array, the new index is gonna equal to the value at the old index. So we could actually do this code right now, actually. Um, if we don't wanna use two loops. So we could actually do that right now. Of course, this requires creating a new array though. So let's create a new array. It's gonna be called um, new r2, r.size. Okay, um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna loop through from the current index to the end. And what we're gonna do is that we're going to actually take current index, subtract it by d, and then we're gonna add it by n, right? Uh, n is the size of our array. So we're gonna add it by D, uh, subtract it by D, add it by N, and then we're gonna mod it by N. Take this value, mod it by N. And this is gonna be R2, and this is gonna be R at I. And what this is doing is basically the same thing of we said before, it's just gonna, instead of shifting it one by one, we're just gonna like, take if we're shifting this by two, this three is gonna jump to two, right? 
And then um, this two is going to jump backwards, but because we're going uh, two rotations down and it's out of bounds in the array, we're going to add it by the length of the or original array, so it loops back. So once it loops back, um, we could that'll be our new position where we're putting it. But sometimes it goes overboard, like it goes overboard. If I add, but like at this point, I add two. No, actually, um, at this one point, I, I go down by two, it goes like out of the array. So yeah, we have to subtract d, d times, and then add by n, which is the size of the array, and then we mod it. So that it goes back to original. So yeah. Now let's submit this code. So I want just to make sure that this works. Yeah, so this one also works. Yeah, so this is how you do it with just one for loop. Um, yeah, d minus i minus d plus n mod by n. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is all. That's all there is to left rotation. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.